Welcome to the Pope on Film. I am Bunny Williams, and with me is. We come to this podcast for magic. We come to the Pope on Film podcast to laugh, to cry, to care, because we need that. All of us. That indescribable feeling we get which I'm describing literally right now. So how describable are we talking about here? That indescribable feeling we get when the Liz a Day theme song begins to play and we go somewhere we've never been before. Not just entertained, but somehow reborn. <laughs> Dazzling images on a small Twitch stream, stream Sound that is sound. Somehow, Ramaland horse erotica feels good in a podcast like this. Bunny Williams feels like the stoned parts of us, and May Lynn feels perfect and powerful because here they are. The Pope on Film podcast. We make movies better. I am the Pope in question. My name is May Lynn. I am the founder of the Church of Ed Wood, which is an actual thing worth a Google. How have we not started the podcast before now with a parody of uh, the AMC opener? I, I, I don't. Is that what we just did? <laughs> yes, that that has been playing before every AMC movie for the last and a half. No, this is my water. Eleanor, you're not getting my water. Uh, this is episode 454 of the podcast. Yes, yes, little about the urban achievers and proud we are of all of that. Um, no pressure, Bonnie, but I think that that uh, AMC theater's opening would make for a great animation. Like that one Texas Chainsaw opening we did one time. Uh, just a thought. Uh, anyway, um, how are you doing, Bunny? Are you excited about today's movie? Oh, tons and tons. I mean, this this is this is our most Oscar bait movie so far. <laughs> uh, Jack Black should at least be nominated for best song. Yes, yes, actually, he should. I mean, if Man or Muppet won best song one year, then Jack Black's Peaches song can. It can technically uh, count. Have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy Thrace yet? We just went yesterday. Oh, yeah? What'd you think? What'd you think? No spoilers. What'd you think? I think I need to watch it again. I was real effing high when I saw that movie. And so I kept, like, taking a moment and remembering where i was i i feel like i wanted that but more guardians oh. yeah and i'm thinking that there was more but it was just going by so fast and whatever that we didn't catch it yeah That's what yeah i, I get that yeah um i thought it was very emotional it was a very emotional heartfelt movie. I, I would have um, liked to have cried more. I brought tissues. Good. Good. I used um, tissues. Yeah, it's a sweet movie. I love the soundtrack. When they started playing Faith No More, I geeked out. Yeah. I, 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 it, for me, for me, it was it was always chasing rainbows. Yeah. Yeah, Alice Cooper. Um, so... This is a new format. We're going to have a very short monologue, and then we're going to go straight into a uh, historic approximation. But in the monologue, I want to do a little bit of talking, talking about things. And then I want to pick one news story that happened during uh, episodes to talk about. I was going to talk about how the manager of an Arby's restaurant went missing in New Iberia, Louisiana. <laughs> And uh, after a thorough manhunt, they found her 
uh, dead in the Arby's freezer. Oh. Arby's. Okay. Well, we have the corpse. So, so how exactly long was this manhunt? No idea. I, I mean, she's an Arby's manager. So they scoured the area until they eventually checked out the Arby's and like opened yeah. the door. I'm like, well, fuck, here she is. Yeah, basically. And uh, like, wouldn't you start there? I don't know. I don't like, know. like maybe not necessarily in the freezer, but I, I would think you would maybe check around the Arby's first. Well, that is in our story for the monologue this week. That is in our news story. Bo Jackson is in the news. Uh, do you remember Bo Jackson? Uh, he could be a sports rapper, professional bowler. No. No, uh, he was a. Uh, Does was he work Raiders. at Sea World? He was a football. He was a professional football player who played with the Raiders, but he was also a professional baseball player. I believe he played for the Kansas City Royals, and he was good at both. And he he was all over the place, and and uh, uh, he was part of a cartoon Saturday morning cartoon. He was. He got a Nike sponsorship. Well, he's 60 years old now. And he has had hiccups for almost a year. Okay. Bo Jackson has had the hiccups for almost an entire year now. And finally, after a year, he, he has decided to uh, get surgery. He's going to be having some risky surgery. To stop the hiccups. But just imagine on your chest, on your tummy, your diaphragm, how it would feel to have hiccups for one whole year. Well, I, I'm really? just thinking about I'm just thinking about the legend, you know, the legend that says if you hiccup for a year, an Arby's manager dies. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Uh -huh. way, to, way to tie it all together. But you haven't heard the craziest part. So uh, Bo Jackson was being interviewed, and he said that he has tried everything. Everything that anyone has said, he has tried. He's held his breath. He's gotten scared. He's drank a cup of water upside down, and he has even smelled a porcupine's asshole. Uh-huh. I would like to repeat that. <laughs> but that had nothing Bill to do Jackson with the hiccups. He <laughs> smelled a porcupine's asshole yeah. to try and cure hiccups. Yeah. Where is that in like a uh, the farmer's almanac? It's like a friendly tip. And that, uh, and then how exactly did he procure a porcupine? And more importantly, <laughs> was there consent? Okay, I just, I just came. Did the I just porcupine came up was the porcupine agreeable to having its asshole sniffed? Okay, I just I just came up with the joke, um, just now. Uh, Bo, it's this is actually a headline from the USA Today. Bo Jackson smelled a porcupine's butt to try to cure year long case of hiccups, and in unrelated news, Bo Jackson has been banned from the local zoo. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Poor Bo Jackson. Yeah. But the interesting about Bo Jackson and his hiccups is he can hiccup hmm. in both English and French. Nice. Nice. A Canadian hiccup. Yes. 
Um, so I think that was it for the monologue cut on the monologue. And let's move on now <coughs> to our other segment. Um, and this one's going to be a good one. I'm really excited. So uh, cut on that. And then welcome to 